The right to a trial by jury is among the most important rights guaranteed to all of us by the U.S. Constitution. And scammers are taking advantage of that right. Liz Ryan tells us what to look for. Tara Schultz spoke on behalf of the clerk of the court's office at a recent commissioner's meeting. There's something important she wants you to know. The clerk's office is warning residents about fraudulent phone calls from scammers claiming to represent the clerk's office or law enforcement. In this event, the scammer claims that the individual has missed jury duty and must make immediate payment to avoid arrest. The scammer indicates a warrant has been issued for the resident's arrest and demands payment for failure to appear for jury duty. We want our residents to know that failure to appear for jury duty requires court attendance before any penalties are imposed as ordered by a judge. If a St. Johns County resident doesn't respond to a summons for jury duty, they are contacted by an official letter from the St. Johns County Clerk of the Circuit Court sent through U.S. Postal Service. If you've been a victim of this scam or have been contacted by a scammer, please get in touch with the Clerk of Court's office and the St. Johns County Sheriff's Department. Also, if you know someone, perhaps an elderly person who may not be savvy to scams, please help them understand this so they won't fall victim to it. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Liz Ryan. This local news is a service of your hometown Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota US1 St. Augustine, here to wow you. I was honored to be part of the presentation of this award to one of our legislatures that is a champion of emergency management. St. John's County Emergency Management Deputy Director Kelly Wilson is back from Tallahassee where she presented the Speaker of the Florida House with an award. Wilson on hand to present House Speaker Paul Renner with the Florida Emergency Preparedness Association's Legislative Achievement Award. He won this award because uh, under Speaker Renner's leadership, the legislature navigated the impact of two catastrophic hurricanes, both Ian and Adelia, in addition to Hurricane Nicole. St. John's County felt impacts from all three storms. In response to these significant disasters, uh, the legislator passed historic legislation providing unprecedented funding and programs for local governments, businesses, and residents. Uh, the programs allowed uh, the, our communities to recover quicker and build back better in a more resilient fashion. And much of that takes credit to Speaker Renner's leadership in the House. Wilson serves as the association's chairperson for membership and awards. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Daryl Moody. Filling a lamp board vacancy leads to questions over whether age should be a factor when choosing an appointee. At the February 6th Board of County Commissioners meeting, Roy Alamo recommended Lauren Howington, a local insurance agent, to fill a vacancy on the Land Acquisition Management Board. Commissioner Krista Joseph felt the other candidates were more qualified. Dr. Spiegel, he was a leading biology, physiology, microbiology, zoology for over 50 years at universities. Kevin Gamble works for St. Johns County Parks, Beaches, Recreational Areas. He spent 23 years as an environmental and marine science educator. And then Ms. Howington is an insurance salesman. Commissioner Alamo defended his choice. She's been in the insurance industry for over 17 years. I met her years ago when she was serving as an ambassador for the Chamber of Commerce. She also serves on the board for the Betty Griffin Center. She's a young mother and somebody who cares about this community. Nicole Crosby, who was passed over for an appointment on the board in November, even after being recommended by the LAMP board, took issue with recent appointments. It seems to be an intentional trend selecting people who don't have an environmental background. The last LAMP board appointment, Commissioner Dean made the motion to put somebody else on the LAMP board. Her application was the same application that she used to apply to multiple boards. She didn't even customize the application to make it look like she had much of an interest in wildlife, habitat. Now we've got number two. I just want everybody to be aware of this and see how this commission is operating. Commissioner Henry Dean voted in favor of appointing Howington and stated his criteria for voting for a candidate. We need young, youthful, exuberant, interested people to get involved in county government. Resident B.J. Kaledi took issue with using age as a criteria. I'm really disappointed that a commissioner would say something about whether they would be qualified or not because of their age. Please, please, please. Dean, who is running for re-election, defended his comment. I'm 76 and I need all the help I can get from the younger generation 
and so I do not apologize. Howington was appointed with Krista Joseph being the lone no vote. For St. Augustine's Local Morning News, I'm Karen Johnson. And now you're up to date with St. Augustine's Local Morning News. I'm Rich Carroll.